Hey, Whiskey Fancies, I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara. We have we have Redwood today. Empire Rocket Top. It is their straight rye bottled and bond. Yes, I forgot the name that quickly. She's only been talking about it and she still forgot it. Whoops. It's got a cool picture of a really big tree. I would assume a redwood. Is that what they look like? Yeah, but see, um, can I can I admit something? From just like a couple feet away without my glasses, I thought it was like a wizard. It does look wizardy. There's a, it kind of looks like a dude. I thought it was a wizard, wizard and I was like, hmm, that's weird for a Redwood Empire. Does it's that a look like a wizard? I guess if you don't have glasses and you are blind. Oh, are blind. An old. I could I can kind of see it. Now I can't unsee it. Well, you're not blind, it. so no. that's cool. So this is mm. their bottle and bond straight rye, rye whiskey. It is five years old. The Mashville, ready for this? this is unusual. Ready. Read it to me. Eighty-seven percent rye, seven percent malted barley, six percent wheat. That's different. I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, no. I'm excited for the wheat though. I'm curious. And I bet you that gives you a little little sweet texture, texture maybe? A little texture. I'm excited. Yeah, tame the tame down that spice. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Did you know that Redwood Empire stretches from San Francisco to Humboldt Bay and to the along the Oregon border? Sounds far. Wow. Sounds far though. This is where all these trees are. I need a map to see if that really is far or does it just sound far. That sounds really cool. Northern There's California. a lot of fun stuff. See, California kind of like separates itself. It's like very... there's a northern, there's a central, and there's a southern. And they don't usually intersect to figure out where things are. You know what's cool about California? It's fun. Well, is all the microclimates. So a lot yeah. of the whiskeys coming out of Northern California aren't going to taste this around anything mm -hmm. like out of uh, San Diego County or even no. LA County. So yeah. I'm excited to try this. Practicing this. Dis Master distiller, Jeff oh. Duck. Oh, you need to smell that. I'm so happy. <laughs> How did they get like nature in a bottle, right? Is it oh, like nature? Oh yes, it smells like the four nine mile single barrel that I can't get again. So it was a single barrel. I think the outside matches the inside. It smells like that's See the tree. Yeah. It also could be a wizard if you're blind. It smells like a wizard. That's what it smells like. I I don't go around smelling wizards, but you know this tree thing, it totally. You gotta watch out for wizards. They get a little handsy. California ones. Yep. Mm. You know what I mean? This smells amazing. <laughs> Why does it smell this, so good? This wow. is so different. It has a slight ryeness to it that's like... Yeah, buried behind mm -hmm. the outdoorsy mountains. This smells like you are in a campground without like any food. Doesn't smell, yeah, it doesn't smell like the fire yet. This is no. like early morning. This is, yeah. People are still sleeping. The fog's still rolling in. Oh. You know what's so annoying when I would go camping? You know like how we get the moisture in the tent here? Yeah, and then you have to take all the restroom, but you don't yes. want to. And you up. don't want to get up because you're yeah. like, yeah, um, if I move, all that nice warm air that I just got, no, it's cold. Yeah. Go ahead. It almost has a um a cologne quality to it. Very perfumey, like yeah, because it's not floral, like soft. It's more of a um man's cologne. Yeah, yeah, it smells amazing. There you go. You got a bottle of cologne. Oh, drink just whiskey, put splash a little. Splash it on you. You can do it. Wow, mm -hmm. oh, nice legs on this. Mm -hmm. Huh. That took a weird turn. I expected it. Oh. To go one way. It went the other. It went the other. But I like it. It's it's, it's slight. It's it's a sweet. It's a sweet herbal mint. Herbal mint. So it's not overly like mm -hmm. scope. I I, I, I don't like I don't that. like mint. I hate mint in rice. Oh, but the finish. But this. It it doesn't hide it. I think it plays well because the mint is kind of subtle. It's not too strong for me. For some of the rice that we've had, I'm like, that's just mint. Like, that's disgusting. This right here. This has got stuff going on. Oh, for I like it. this. Yeah, this is good. It finishes with vanilla. And it doesn't drink like it's a 50. Does it drink with vanilla? Does it finish on does it finish have vanilla? That's what I get. It sure does. Like the uh the bourbon version had like a vanilla, wow. but it was more oaky. Mm-hmm. This is just like this is actually vanilla. It extra. ends really sweet. Yeah, it's almost saccharine wheat sweet. Not oh, to I, me. Okay, let me try. Not open, like not disgusting, but it's just where it's just 
all sweet with like the mint. It's very sweet in the end. Yeah. Ooh, I like that. It's very good. Can, can I, do you mm. remember if the Willet for your rye is a similar vein? No, not at all. Not at all? Not at all. I'm gonna have to do a head to head because I no. can never remember what that one tastes like. That one is very herbally. Oh. It doesn't have mint though. It does, right? No. Really? That's why I liked it for the longest time. Yeah. I, s I think this could be a, uh, a nice entry into like a rye flight. Yeah, this has to be the wheat that introduces the sweetness. Because there's some of those um, MGPs that are slightly similar except for the wheat, with the 95, the higher ones, that yeah. the older They're, they get, the, the sweeter, sweeter they, they get. Yeah. yeah, so they don't have that, that, that age of like seven or eight years, but they put the wheat in maybe then they Yeah, it. so I have a question for you. Oh, geez. When you mm -hmm. drink it, does it have like almost like a cool? Oh, sure. It's like cool. Yeah, like a coolness. It's, isn't it? It does. I was like... That's why I kind of touched the bottle. I don't know, because I touched, the, the, like, I know, cause cause I touched the bottle. I was like, this wasn't sitting in. This is so unique. It, we don't chill our whiskey, so I was mm -hmm. like, why is it slightly chilly almost? It's not that cold in the house. It's slightly. This is. It has it has a little bit of fruitiness, but it's more of like. Um, it's definitely it's, uh, one of those herbal spicy rice. Yeah. It Which. Touch a touch of fruit. sweetness. And those are my those are my jam. That's what I, what I like. I like the, the herbally spicy this is ones. The little this sweet is good. finish. I, I love when they have clove. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't really have clove, but it has like a nice balance of vanilla with the mm -hmm. spice, which is fun. I don't but think this, I've had that for very often. This The sweetness right here, how it plays with the... The mint is subtle for me. It is. It's not overpowering. You, if you keep drinking, it goes, yeah, it go, more, it goes it, away. It goes more off. spicy or herbal. Yes, it does. Spicy. To me, you know, like, is it Trident or what is it? They have like that sweet mint yeah. flavor. Trident. That gum. It's that it light, kind of like, light. It's light, but sweet. It's that light green pack. I don't know the distribution of these new bottled and bond offerings, and I, I'm really hoping that this is just their first round, and they're yeah. just gonna keep going. Cause yeah, although that the bottled and bond uh, bourbon and then this rye are our first ones that we've mm -hmm. tried. Holy smokes! I, I like really what they're good. doing. I like their yeah. distillate. It's got it's really strong. But okay, the the thing that in that, a good way, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Strong. The, the thing that I I do have to think about though for just someone who hasn't gone into the whole Redwood yet, yes, because a lot of their offerings are half the price, or more than half the price. This was oh yeah, this is this like is eighty five a... bucks I think is MSRP or something like that. Let's pretend it's 85, 80 right? to nine, eighty to ninety dollars, right? I get it that that it, that you are paying a premium for a craft. Yeah, because they're. Entry offerings, Lost Monarch, Emerald Giant, and... Mm -hmm. That's not their own distillery. I think some of them are blends Those with, are right? Yeah, they're sourced MGP mm -hmm. with and they blend it, I mm -hmm. think. I think. I'll so, I, I understand, but I at the same time, I, I don't think there's that much distribution on this. Okay. Like, oh, the quantity. Yeah. I don't. So, so I get the higher cost because I probably don't have that much of the producing or they saving some of the barrels that they have for other stuff in the future. Yeah. Like, is this like a pinhook thing? That's very confusing. Where, you know, they're doing That's confusing. Yeah, aging. Sure. So is Redwood Empire a distillery that's available in your area? Is it easy to get? I'm not really sure. I keep seeing people mm -hmm. get it, but I don't know if they're going out of their way. Is it available? Yeah. Because the concern I have, as much as I love this nose, the, there was another craft distillery, um, I, I mentioned it earlier, is 49 Mile. Mm -hmm. That is around the same price. It's about $90 for a single it's a barrel. single barrel. And it's seven years old. Yes. It is a little bit lower proof, only by a couple, like nine, let's say. Five percent. Okay, so that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. So it's two years older for the same price. So mm -hmm. it's, so... When you put price and availability, it makes it a little tricky mm -hmm. to judge whether or not it's of value to you. Mm -hmm. uh, we can only say what we're willing to pay for something, yes. not to suggest what you should pay for something. That's really, it's all subjective. It's up to you. I do like the flavor, but when you say that it is a little on the pricier side, like how much is a bottle of Willet for you? I think that's like it, it, seven, we, seven, when we started right? getting, I think it was around 50 and I think it's 60 here now. 
And my favorite rye, it, um, but it's not my favorite anymore. It's not. No, it's not. my favorite rye. One of my favorite ryes that's mm -hmm. fairly easy to get is Old Pepper. Yeah, and that's, and that's about fifty bucks, isn't it? Or is that now? Forty nine ninety nine. That's forty nine. Yeah. So when you start factoring in yeah. that, it's a little tricky. But the good thing is, it's fun to buy these bottles just yeah. to see what other people are doing. Yeah. I like it a lot. It really uh, is tasty. It it has more depth and. Um, richness to it than I actually it, expected. It's definitely exceeded my it. expectations, yeah. especially this rye. We've ha also tried the bourbon, mm -hmm. and, but this there's just something there's something special on both of them. There is. They're so unique. that's kind of fun. So because yeah. there's something unique, I'm not going to discount them all together. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm going to continue to try different things from them. And I, I don't get like a craft note. I don't. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. I don't. That craft note is usually I think what people say is either yeast um, or barrels. It's either youth or the second part mm -hmm. is not being able to handle not making the right cuts for your distillate, I think. Mm -hmm. If I remember correctly. I wanna say there's a very knowledgeable blender that was talking about it and I cannot remember what she said, so I won't try to quote her, but I think there's issues with um, mismanagement of the yeast if, is what I think mm -hmm. she said. I'm loving this. So, do you That's guys right. often get Redwood Empire? And what's your favorite offering? What from state there? are you in? What state are you in? Because in California, it's at a grocery store. So. Yeah, but that's because it, it's local to us. Yeah. So, just give us a comment below. And while you're down there, also give us a thumbs up, if you will. Don't forget to, com to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you can join us in our next video. I can't say this whiskey. Well, I have no more to add, but I sure fancy this whiskey. Fantastic. Cheers.